So since I wanna know where to place my Cameron Park Zoo B-roll, I'm going to add a marker. If you see this icon here in your toolbar, that's your marker icon. You can also press M on your keyboard to add a marker quickly. So I click this icon here, it's gonna add this little blue flag to our timeline. I can double click on this and I can name this Cameron Park Zoo B-roll. You can also change the color of the flag if I want to. I'll click done. And now I know this is exactly the point in my video where I want the Cameron Park Zoo B-roll or clip two to appear. So let's go ahead and unhide the top track. And I'm gonna drag clip two over to where the marker is. I'll let go of it there. Let's go back a couple seconds and see how that looks. We're here today at the Cameron Park Zoo in Waco, Texas. Nice, so now when I say Cameron Park Zoo, the B-roll of the sign itself appears within the video. Now we have clip two marked on our timeline here, and the next thing that we'll want to mark is when I say Waco, Texas, and that's where we're gonna place clip three. So let's go back on our timeline, and before I press play, I'm gonna take my finger and hover it right over the M button on my keyboard, so that way the moment I say Waco, Texas, I'll press M, and it's gonna drop that marker. So let's press play, I'm gonna drop the marker and then pause the footage. The Cameron Park Zoo in Waco, Texas. So as soon as I said Waco, I pressed M, dropped the marker, and now we know exactly where in the footage I want my next B-roll to appear. So now that I have this new marker on my timeline, I can double click on it. And to make things easier, I'll name this just clip three, since this is where I want clip three to occur. Click done here. And now I'll take the end of clip two and drag it to where the next marker is. And you'll see it kind of snaps to it with that blue line, which is super helpful for precise cuts like this. And then I'll take clip three and drag it to where clip two ends. And then I'll drag the end of clip three to shorten it down. And as I'm moving the clip to the right and left, you'll see this time code right here change. That's telling you the duration of the clip itself. So right now it's five seconds and 26 frames long. I think this will be good if it's like maybe three seconds long. So we'll see how that looks. Let's take our playhead and go back and preview how the B-roll looks. Today at the Cameron Park Zoo in Waco, Texas. It's been around since 1993. Yeah, I like how that looks. I think that we could shorten it down to maybe two seconds and maybe 20 frames. I'm pretty happy with that. So now that we have clip three and two laid out on our timeline, let's preview the rest of clip one and find a natural point to place clip four. I'll press play real quick. 1,700 animals from around the world. Um, so we're gonna go around the zoo today and see the exhibits. I think when I say, so we're gonna go around the zoo today, I think that's a good place for us to put clip four. So let's go back a little bit in the timeline and I'll get ready to place a marker. Press play. Um, so we're gonna go around the zoo today and see the exhibit. I like that. Now we'll take clip four and drag it to our marker. I'll go to the right side of the clip again and bring it down to like, we'll say three seconds. Let's go back and preview that and see how it looks. Um, so we're gonna go around the zoo today and see the exhibits and see what kind of animals we can find. So let's go check it out. Nice, and then at the end of clip one here, there is an awkward little ending where I put the camera down. I'll play that so you can see it. There we go, so we don't want that. So let's go to the point where I stop talking. So we'll go back and press play and pause when I'm done. Animals we can find, so let's go check it out. And I'll take the ending and just drag it to remove that awkward little bit at the end. And there we go. We now have all of our B-roll layered on top of our footage. 